RCA Victor and its dealers present Bert Hillstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players, with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. No, I don't think so at all. I think the way the thing should happen is that you, uh, first you come in and then, uh, then you bow, then you make your acceptance speech, and then you sing afterwards. That's not right. You've got to make your acceptance speech first. That's true. But, then, but I don't think, I think you should sing. I think you should sing right in there and then make your acceptance speech, and then after that you bow. That's not any good, kook. The only way to do it is to make your acceptance speech first, then go off in a great blaze of glory with a fine song. I don't think that's right at all. Well, you don't always know everything. Well, I know pretty much. You don't know about protocol. Who? Protocol. Well, no, I don't know about him, but just the same, I know about the way things should go and the way things should be organized. And, and when you are presented with certain things, you, you, you get up and you, you sing your song first, and then you, then you make your speech. Oh, it's not true. If you're going to play that way, I won't play with you. Go to my room. I'll read. I don't have to be in on this thing in the first place. Well, there's only one way to do it. We'll get Fran in to settle. All right, call Fran in. Maybe I bet she'll be on my side. She's the one. She knows. Call her in. Go ahead. Fran! Yes? Will you come in and help us settle an argument? Oh, there's nothing I like better than to settle an argument. Or well, get in it, maybe, if I can. Well, here we are. All right. Now, uh, today, you know, oh, uh, you know about today? Friday. Yeah, but do you know what else about today? Payday. <laughs> That's all, brother. So long. Come back here. Well, isn't it? Yes, it is. But well, honestly, I'm trying to arrange something here. We've got, this is presentation day. You know, all sorts of things came in the mail and came from all over the country, pre sort of special honors for us. And naturally, they're deserved, but uh, I think it's only right that we uh, sort of... Uh, do a nice uh, job of it. Well, I, I did hear a little bit about that, but I thought we were going to write thank you notes and hang the Oh, no, down. we've got to put it on the show like everybody else does and bow and make big speeches. Ollie, I'm not very good at that. You do that. No, we're all going to do it. Where's your modesty? Hmm? Don't you have any modesty? Oh, yes. I'm probably one of the most modest people you've ever met. <laughs> Great. I look for the ceiling to come down any minute. <laughs> Here's the argument. Now, when, when these different awards are made, uh, all he wants, he, he thinks it's best to make the speech first and go off in a blaze of song. I say we should sing first and then make our acceptance speech. That's all wrong. It's backwards. Obviously, anybody could tell that. Anybody who knows anything about protocol. Do you know protocol? I don't either. Who's he? He's the one that makes up the parliamentary uh, procedure. Oh, I thought his name was Roberts. I don't think so. Maybe oh. that's his first name. Well, Roberts uh, Protocol. Well, anyway, what I um, would say is this. I, I would rather think, Ollie, that it might be a good thing to do a song first and then a very brief thank you and then we could all retire in order because you know how one is when he makes a speech. He sometimes gets carried away and we might only get to accept one thing because the speech would be too long. I'll do it anyway anybody wants to. I'm perfectly willing to go along. I'm a good, I'm a good fellow. I'll do it. I'll go along. But remember, it's got to be a special celebration. Well, that's all right with me. Let's just go ahead and do it. I think we ought to have a little song for, for each one somehow, don't you, Franny? Well, yes. Some sort of a little, um, a little special presentation speech and everything. Jack's very good at writing things like that. Maybe I could get him to just sketch off a couple of them. Mm -hmm. We ought to have costumes. Costumes? Something kind of fancy, I think. Well, I don't think we have any fancy costumes that we can use. Uh, from a costume standpoint, I would say that there should be something about the things that we wear, which would be in some manner identified with the particular source of the award. Well, let's try it. All right. We'll rummage around in the old truck. I'll look and see what I can find. Okay. Are you everybody ready backstage? Please, please, please. Ready. We're ready, kid. You places, everybody. Shh.
How's the house? Hey, the TV, TV! Peel on the stairway. Really? Who eats oranges around here anyway? I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you, television friends. And TV forecast. For the loving honors you bestowed upon us. <laughs> yes? Who does the next presentation? I don't know. I don't either. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> Would you give me a, a, just a little marching music, please? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, <clears throat> uh, friends, we are gathered here to bestow upon our good friends, Kukla, Fran, and Ollie, a very fine honor. <clears throat> An honor, a very fine honor. I, a, uh, an honor which has come as a complete and total surprise to all those involved. Oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Miss Allison. Yes. Would you mind stepping up here for a moment, please? This won't be quite as formal as Cecil Bill's. Mm -hmm. I believe in more informal things. Uh, I am in receipt of a letter 
and uh, some documents from Mr. Val Peterson, the governor of the state of Nebraska. Really? Yes, indeed. And uh, he uh, said it gives him great pleasure to appoint you and uh, Kupla and Ali of uh, admirals in the great navy of the state of Nebraska. Why, how wonderful. He says, as you no doubt know, there is but one rank in our Navy. We are all admirals and enjoy the same privileges. Well, Fletcher, I am completely overcome. There is no one from whom we must take commands, nor is there anyone to whom we may pass the buck. No. The morale of our organization is very high, and I am sure you will find your new duties most pleasurable. You know, my, my father used to be an admiral. Did he, sir? Well, no, not a real admiral, but uh, not in Nebraska, but uh, he sort of a play admiral. A play admiral? Yes, because he was so interested in guppies, you know. And, psst, oh, pardon me. You'll excuse me for a moment. I'm bringing the documents up now. Oh, well, uh, aren't we going to accept this altogether? Great Navy of the state of Nebraska. Well, <clears throat> that's wonderful, Fletcher. Oh, uh, I think it would only... See? I think it only fitting that you uh, receive this in proper uh, uniform. Well, I guess you're right. So you get your uniform, and I will uh, make a little speech. All right. <clears throat> and as uh, all great friends of television from the state of Nebraska, we have the we have the must be vellum. Very slippery. We have a. Uh, uh, the great honor uh, to, uh, to uh, from the state of Nebraska of three of our members being appointed of uh, admirals of the Nebraska Navy. And so without any more uh, uh, to do on my part, I uh, wish they would uh, uh, take over. Fran? Yes. You ready? Yes. Come in. All right. <laughs> Hey, wait for me! I'll get on time. Just I'm trying it. to. Oh, doggone it! You kids took all the best ones. That's great. <laughs> Hello, Coop. Oh, you're not. Where's Coop? Oh, peekaboo! Here, put up your here. <clears throat> I can't see. You're in submarine warfare already. <laughs> yeah. Well, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> I wrote this music. Oh, Nebraska, the fairest state of all. We send to you our thank yous. Please excuse our Midwest drawl. Did you know something? No. I think this is a great honor, but did you? I wish I could see. Wait a minute, I'll take, I better take the hat off. Thank you. Why don't you wear it sideways? Might work better. No, it's no better. <laughs> May as well put it away. Did hey, kid, look who I am. Who are you? Josephine. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Napoleon and Josephine. Get it? <laughs> oh, real good. Relax. I'm going to take it off for a minute. It's very important. This is something I wanted to make a very important announcement. Yes. Where are you? Our ship has just sunk. No, it hasn't. It just went down. Oh, what was the announcement? You were saying? Well, it wasn't an announcement. It's just uh, being made an admiral in the Nebraska Navy reminded me of something. Oh? Uh -huh. Did you know that uh, uh, B.T.'s, uh, some of his family were seafaring men? Oh, no. No, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, yes, and lake-faring men, too. They were uh, here in the Great Lakes, they were great sailors. Is that right? Yes. Was any of them uh, an admiral? Oh, yes, I believe. I don't really know. I think so. Uh, didn't you uh, Didn't you see the picture out in the, uh, in the, uh, on the hall? No, I don't recall having seen it. Yeah, sure, there's a, there's a painting there. Oh, well, I'll Some ancestor, you'll have to look at it. Yes, I will. Well, we'd better retire in order. Yes. Thank you, Nebraska. Thank you, Nebraska. Oh! Thank you, Nebraska. You know what that was? That was a can of uh, brass polish. I stumbled over. I never get to make my speech. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for the singular honor which has been bestowed on us today. Man, I never saw it. Well, I never saw that picture before. Well, I don't know. Come here, Frank. 
I was just remarking, I, how many times have I gone past that wall? I never saw that picture before. Mm -hmm. No. Well, I, I lost my hat did. somewhere. You did? Yeah, I don't know where it could be. Well, listen, while I'm at it, hey, Ollie. I'm getting ready for our next presentation. Okay. Well, while I'm at it, I think it'd be very nice if I uh, made a presentation. May I make a presentation, Fran? Please do. Uh, very special one. I mean, there are many honors that, that go and have come to us, and we're very, very grateful. But um, we'd like to pass a few honors along, because after all, uh, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for some of our very dear friends. I'd like it this time, not yet, Bill. You pushed me downstairs. <laughs> yes, I did. A gentleman doesn't push a lady downstairs. <laughs> well, we're old pals. Are we now? Well, I thought we were. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. But don't expect me to come running when, when you want me. No, I, I don't expect that. Not at all, do I? Excuse me? Certainly. Where are you going? Well, stay here and I'll talk to you a little bit. You know, we're, we've been getting lots of wonderful um, awards and things, but I, I, I want to especially tell you about uh, an award that I think we should pass along from Kuka, Fran, and Ollie about the, about the uh, RCA Victor uh, television receivers and the wonderful RCA Victor uh, Victrola 45s and the 45 record players. Well, that'd be very nice. There's one right over there, a very beautiful new model of a of a very handsome uh, uh, console set. Do you see that over there? My, that is a good-looking one, Kukla. That certainly deserves all sorts of awards. It really is. Wait till you see the inside. Russ, would you open up the, the door so we can see the inside? He borrowed somebody's coat. Couldn't be his own. Sleeves are too short. Yes, he wore a sweater the last time I saw him. Oh, my, Kukla, that's a handsome one. Oh, 16-inch picture tube. A new short type tube, isn't it? That's right. And the improved eyewitness picture synchronizer down there on the right, you see. Golden throat tone system. Naturally. Oh, that golden throat. That deserves the awards, too. Gracious sake. And it has a built-in antenna. No. Yeah. Isn't that remarkable? It's not remarkable at all. After all, we, we have many RCA Victor television receivers that have built-in antennas. I know, but I just, I just am continually surprised and amazed by such, such beauty of cabinet, such wonderful performance, and such ca compact size. It just really intrigues me. You see that wonderful, down there at the bottom is that wonderful space where, where the speaker is, and that gives you your wonderful, wonderful, great tone. Why, naturally. How about, uh, how about any attachments in the back there? Oh, it has a little built-in photo jack where you can connect the little 45 record player. That deserves a special award all itself. Yes, indeed it does. I can just see it there. That little 45 record. Isn't that a cutie? My goodness. Player records designed for each other. Yeah, that's a real, real award there. Plays the little 45 RPM record. Mm -hmm. Up to ten of them, too. I'm the world's fastest changer. You're right, Beulah. Well, I can see, indeed, that I've my speech was all wrong. I should have been making them for the RCA Victor television receiver and for the little 45. Guess I'll have to go and rewrite the whole thing. Well, you do that, Beulah, and then we can talk about it later. Thanks, Russ. That's wonderful. He turned it on. Isn't that cute? Cutest thing I ever saw. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, so long, Sonny. So long, Beulah. I think Beulah was to, um... Oh, I know what she was to... A friend. Yes. Uh, the, the, next, the next one Beulah was to introduce, and she forgot. Well, it's from, um... um from uh, California. California. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? What uh, was the nature well, of it? Well, there were two special awards. Shall I bring up my, my California costume? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, how, shall I get mine? Sure, do. All right. Are we all ready? All ready. Does Dolly know? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. all right. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> now, Fran, this, uh, the first one I want to bring to you is a... Certificate of Merit from the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Oh, how nice. Hollywood, California. How nice. Certificate of Merit for Cooper Fran and Oliver. That's wonderful. Does it say anything about our next picture? Hello, darling. Hello, dear. Then, um, oh, this one is from wonderful. Televiewers, the first and foremost television magazine. And uh, this is, um, it, it voted uh, um, an, another award of merit. 
How wonderful. Isn't that wonderful, darling? Oh, it's divine. I Simply think so. divine. I think so, too. Well, shall we uh, put them up here? Yeah, would you like to? We could frame them. First. Well, I'll take care of them then. Hello, darling. Hello, dear. <laughs> California, the fairest state of all. We send to you our thank yous. Please excuse our western drawl. I almost got that one mixed up. That's all right. We retire in order. We thank you very much for this singular honor which has been bestowed upon us. Good evening, television friends. I have the great honor at this time to speak about a um, wonderful honor that's come to us from Kentucky. I think that you're going to enjoy this very much because this particular honor uh, is unusually uh, uh, singular and unusually uh, unusual. <coughs> WAVE-TV in Louisville, Kentucky takes pleasure in conferring the title of television pioneer on Coca Fran and Up whose foresight and cooperation helped to introduce television into thousands of Kentucky and Indiana homes. Now, I would like to present this uh, wonderful certificate to our dear friends, the pioneers. I include you too, Miss Allison. Yes. I remember you on the covered wagons. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> Here's your certificate, kids. Isn't this nice? This is one of the most exciting of all the honors. I, I think, think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kentucky, the fairest state of all, we send to you our thank you. Please excuse our southern drone. Did you know that B.T. had, um, uh, he had a, an ancestor who was a pioneer? I'm sick and tired of hearing he about that. He did? This. Yeah, sure. Didn't you ever see his picture over there on the wall? No. You didn't? I never heard him speak about oh, it. Oh, yes. Very definitely, yes. Is that right? Well, I guess we better retire in order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Ollie's gone, so I'll leave. All Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. We wish to thank you for the singular honor which you have bestowed upon us this day. Never heard him say. Never know. Well, oh, just thinking, I, I know I never saw that picture before. Uh -huh. Well, excuse me. I, it was a very special honor that I'm going to save a special day for for my friends in Oklahoma and Tulsa. A young friend of ours down there, several young friends of our, ours down there made me a, uh, an honorary uh, Cub Scout down there, and I'm going to talk about that another day because, that, after all, that's just my honor. <laughs> well, uh, let me see. Oh, uh, uh, Fran, we got a um, wonderful... Um, wonderful award. Well, it wasn't a real award. It was a... Yes, it was, too. It was kind of an award from, um... I guess Colonel Cracky was supposed to introduce it, but he didn't. Uh, from Washington, D.C. and Maryland. And, uh, do you think we ought to just, uh, uh, thank them very much? It's from Teleguide down there, Fran. Oh, well, yes. We'll just thank them. Maybe we could do another special thing. Sometime. Yes, it's from Teleguide. We got... We, we, we won a first place in, in a, in a sort of a special, uh, Contest they had down there. Wonderful. And tell a guy in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. We thank them very much. And, um, oh, here's the great one, Fran. Yes? Uh, there's nobody left in it. Colonel Cracky? Colonel Cracky? He's out, dear. He's gone out. Well, Fran, here's a wonderful one you'll like. Which one? We were made honorary Texans. Oh, this is the day. Isn't that wonderful? C can we... Can we make this acceptance now? Yeah, we can do it right now. I have my costume ready. Well, I'll get mine. All right. Ollie? <laughs> Hi, partner. Hiya, partner. Okay, partner. That's good. Where's the other partner? Here, partner. Oh. <laughs> oh, Texas. Texas. Oh, listen, I'm tired of that one. I ain't tired of that. Let's, let's do the one that we really like. You know that wonderful Texas song from uh, Texas Little Darling that Johnny Mercer and Robert Emma Dolan Oh, shoot. Well, I'd rather do that, too. Let's do that. All right. Here All we right. go. All right. <laughs> Mop. 
way up in New York City. They talk a different style. So busy making money, they don't have time to smile. It was so doggone crowded. I felt so hemmed in there. I come back home to Texas to get a breath of air. Oh, the old lady, old lady got the blues. The old lady, old lady just for you. The old lady, old lady and the sweetest little home I ever knew. Oh. The old lady, old lady, when I'm old. The old lady, old lady, don't you know? The old lady, old lady, that I'll sing the old, 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 old blues. You can understand how I felt with the worries and cares. Meeting all of them stock up strangers. I put nine of them in. Why enough of that la dee da can affect your morale? When I tell you home's best, I ain't just a whistle in a Dixie pile. Oh, the old lady, old lady got the blue. They talk a different old lady, old lady just for you. Oh, the old lady, old lady, when I'm low. Oh, the old lady, old lady, don't you know? The old lady that I see, the old, the old, the old, the old blues. Oh, the old lady, old lady, when I'm low. Oh, the old lady, old lady, just for you. We got our honorary Texas uh, membership from Jimmy uh, Hadra, I think his name oh. is, down in Fort Worth. <laughs> Wonderful. That's to show more of that stuff. Well, I got to take my head off. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Did you know that uh, there's a relative of BT's down in Texas? No, I never knew he had any. Yeah, there's a picture of him out in the hall. There is. Now, will you excuse me? I have to take my hat off. Sure. Well, we thank you all for that singular honor bestowed upon us this Oh. What's the matter, friend? Relatives, hmm? Huh? Relatives. <coughs> I think so. I don't know. Well, there's just one thing I have left to say. That one relative has a peculiar cast in one eye. That's what I thought. Uh-huh. Remember, in television, it's RCA Victor. I just spoke to Cecil Bill and asked him to thank you for me. And all he would say was, tui, 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 tui. I guess that means thanks on behalf of all the Cooklapolitan characters. RCA Victor, world leader in radio. First in recorded music, first in television. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago.